Can you now tell me from this story why only one seed succeeded to grow into a new plant? Yes, because all the seed fell nearby and they did not get enough space to grow. They did not get enough food and water from the soil and not enough sunlight too. Very true. A seed needs air, water and warmth to grow into a new plant. Like if all of you children are made to sit on one bench, will you be able to study? No, you have to be spread apart in the whole class, isn't it? Similarly, seeds of a plant are to be spread to far off places so that they grow well. And how are they spread apart? Nature has its own way to do so. Can you tell which all agents help to scatter seeds? Yes, as we saw in the story, birds and we human beings help in this process by throwing the seeds after eating the fruit. Same way, the wind must be carrying the seeds to far away places. That's right, Aman. These are the few ways by which seeds are scattered away from mother plant. Cotton seed being light is scattered by the wind. Seeds of plants growing near or inside water are carried by water to distant places like coconut. Birds, animals and human beings eat fruit and throw their seeds away. Some fruits become dry and burst open. That is, they explode like in the case of peas. This way their seeds are scattered. This scattering of seeds is known as seed dispersal. Thus we conclude, scattering of seeds, that is, seed dispersal, is carried out in many ways. By wind, by water, by animals, birds, and by fruit explosion. As we saw, it takes lot of time and favorable conditions for a seed to grow into a plant. This growth of a new plant from a seed is called as germination. The new plant which comes out of seed is called as seedling. You must be thinking that how can a plant come out of a hard seed? Let's see the seed in more detail now. Actually, this outer part of seed is hard so that the inside plant is protected. This outer thick surface is called seed coat. It has a small scar by which the seed is attached to the fruit. If you open the seed coat, you will see two seed leaves called as cotyledons. Between the cotyledons is the baby plant which is called embryo. The cotyledons provide food to the embryo till it grows into new plant and makes its own food. Let's see in detail how a seed grows into a new plant. A seed takes air to breathe inside the soil. The dry seed coat becomes soft when it absorbs water from the soil and falls off. The warmth of atmosphere activates the growth of the baby plant. The seedling or the baby plant comes out of the seed leaves or the cotyledons. The cotyledons provide food to the developing baby plant till it grows and is able to make its own food. So we see, a baby plant or seedling needs water, nutrients from soil, air and plenty of sunlight to grow. Here we will see in brief the life cycle of a plant. The seed is found inside the fruit. When the conditions are right, a baby plant will come out of the seed under the soil. Finally, 
the young plant will grow into a big tree giving flowers. The flowers turn into fruits. The fruit contains seed. The seed grows into a new plant and the cycle continues.